<clears throat> Alright guys, what's up? I'm gonna get straight to the action and then I'll explain more about what's going on in this video towards after I'm done saying what I need to say. For the first time ever, I discovered, I guess, a glitch that uh, happens in Premiere Pro or in Adobe editing software every now and then. And that is the red screen. Basically what I have here are two nested footages, right? So if I double click on it, now these are a 4K footage. I was wanted to see if my computer was able to handle it and so I duplicated these footage to get like about uh, 10 minutes worth of footage of 4K. Then I nested it and then I made it into a sequence and I increased the speed of it to 1000% and pretty much I did that because I want to experiment to see how it can handle you know, sped up footage in 4K. And at first it seemed like it worked but then that happened. You know I started to get like these red sc screens and it, like I said, it was the first time I ever encountered this situation. However, I got the same thing here going. Another Nessa sequence with a bunch of 4K footage here. But this time, um, as you can see, nothing is going on. No red footage whatsoever. And, yeah, basically the main difference that I did here was... Um, Pretty much what I did was I made a, a copy of the original file, copy, then I pasted it somewhere, say paste, you know, let that copy, so once it's copied, let's rename it, uh, rename, see, to dot .mov, it has to be dot lowercase m, dot lowercase o, dot lowercase v. And uh, when you hit enter, it's going to say changing the file extension might become usable, yada yada, say yes. It will be usable. So once you got that going, you pretty much drag this footage into your, your project here. And then pretty much I use that file to create this nested sequence here. And it, and I'm not getting that red screen here that glitched out. Um, That's pretty much it for this tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, yeah, like I just wanted to get straight to the point if, you know, you're in the middle of something and you wanted to, you know, come up with a quick solution. So that's pretty much it. Now, um, basically what I'm doing here is I was doing some tests with 4K footage to see if my computer was able to handle it. And no, my computer couldn't handle it. Uh, I mean, I do 1080p just fine. But when it comes to 4K, yeah, I think that's his limits uh, without me, you know, upgrading to uh, new hardware and stuff. Yeah, I tried to do some research about this red screen, and it turns out it's a glitch that I didn't really see an answer to it. So that's when I jumped on the opportunity and made the, this video. Now, now using this method of changing the dot .mov, I actually have done it before. Um, when I was having problems, when I was importing footage into Premiere Pro, and the audio was went out of sync. So I did the same thing. You can uh, I'll have a link to this video in the des descriptions. I changed the extension to a .mov from a .m4v, I believe, and it actually helped the situation now. Uh, just like this video here, not every, it didn't even really work for everyone, so I just want to make that clear with this method <laughs> that I was just showing you about if you're having any red glitches on your project. From my understanding at the moment, certain video formats, they are designed d differently, obviously, and certain hardware and certain software interact differently with these file formats so um, if you're having problems if you're getting a lot of like the red glitch screens try changing the format of what you use to film right or maybe you can change the codec or something you know now the, exactly the reason why a red screen happens I'm not sure but I just want to show you something that um, I noticed now um, I open the task manager here and as you can see here's my CPU usage and um, my memory my RAM and in case you're wondering this is pretty much what uh, the processor that I have it's an Intel i7 uh, 3960X the base clock is 3.3 gigahertz. However, I did manage to overclock this to 4.1, so you know it's not bad. Now I'm going to change the speed from 1,000% to 99%, just so it can be somewhat similar, and you know everything goes offline. So I'm going to create a new preview. So when I hit enter to start rendering, as you can see, the CPU usage starts to go up, right? You know, it looks like it's fine. It's, you know, doing what it's doing, which is creating preview files. However, I noticed that once it starts to get to certain areas of the video, like uh, the CPU, which is like stop, like, as you can see right now, it just went from nearly a 90% to down to nine. And at certain parts of the, the rendering process, it drops down to nearly, actually it drops down to zero. And I noticed that when this drops to zero, that's when you start getting like the red screens. So... So as you can see here, like um, 
I have six cores, but with a hyper in terms of 12, some of these cores are not working whatsoever. Uh, and as you can see here, they pretty much dip very low. The CPU processing power just, you know, gets very close to zero. And my guess is has to be a certain like hardware situation. You know, um, I, I'm using 4K. So obviously that's a high, you know, video image format as is. And then once it starts to like uh, process, starts to do the rendering or whatever I need to do, it just happens. It glitches out. I mean, right now it's doing good. It's 86%, right? But then like it would just dip out of nowhere to like, you know, nearly 1%. You know, there you go. See, it went down to like 9%, 7 you know, you know, 5%. You know, all the all the cores are working, but then like it will just dip. And then like some cores will stop working altogether, you know, creating that from what I see that red screen you know glitch so I don't know I guess uh, once you start getting red glitches I guess that's a sign that your hardware is at its limits <laughs> you know that's that'll be my guess I really don't know so if you really know the reason why then please share the reason why this happens in the the comment section so if you're still having problem and you know you're not editing in 4k or you know 2k and you're just doing your know, 1080p or 720p you start getting a lot of red glitches uh, maybe try changing the file format of what you're using to film with, right? Also, if you're able to change the codec of the video file, you want to try that. So, uh, I'm sorry, I don't really have an answer to the why this happens 100%. You know, these are just my um, my assumptions from uh, my guess because of based on what I see here. So, yeah, that's all I got for you. Um, I hope this helps in some manner. You know, if it doesn't like solve your problem, I hope at least you know directs you to like the right direction. And if you find any, any other solution or if you have a different scenario that you were able to find a solution to, you know, please share it. And, uh, yeah, apologies if um, I sound like I'm all over the place with these videos. I never really have a script for this stuff. Usually when I come across a situation and um, I find a solution or if I learn something new, I pretty much just film it right away. I just record myself just, you know, well, all freestyle off the top of my head. So that's pretty much how I'm doing my videos. So anyways. Thanks again for watching. Take care and peace.